What up YouTube? Today we are going to pick up 67 WWF classic VHS videos. Let's do this! What up YouTube? Uh, we have a long drive to go pick up the 67 uh, classic WWF videos. WWF videos still sell. Some of them not as much as others, but if you're lucky enough to get... Shh, Siri interrupts me every fucking time. If you are lucky enough to get uh, the good ones that are kind of rare, um, fucking happy days. Uh, this lady on Gumtree had um, an absolute shitload for sale. Uh, she wanted two dollars each, which was a pretty fair price. Uh, some of them weren't well fed at all. Uh, shut up, shut up. Um, and um, you know, I missed out. I missed out on a few uh, because she reckons a lot of them weren't available. So I made her an offer for everything that was left. I saw some there that weren't uh, worth money at all. Um, but. Um, I definitely uh, wanted to uh, just take everything that she had and then, you know, just do it that way. That's the way I want to do it. Instead of saying, can I have this one, can I have that one, can I have this one, just take them all. So, 80 bucks for the 67 of them. Not bad. Not bad. She did initially want fucking uh, $2 each for them. So, 67 of them, 80 bucks. Look, I'm getting them less than $2, aren't I? Uh, shit. Dollar, dollar twenty each, something like that. So worth it. So even if I got the shit ones without the shit ones and got the ones as I saw what I wanted. But anyway, enough of that crap. Uh, but I have been, yes, uh, I've been putting up on the uh, thing there the, from the ad, um, the ones that were left over. So they're the ones I missed out on some WCW ones, some classic ones that were worth like fifty dollars each. So someone was already in there before me. But they're the ones that I'm going to get. Um, let's go get him. Let's go get him. Let's do it. Here we go. She packed them all nicely and uh, sticky taped them up so I can't even uh, have a little look to see if they're uh, all in there. But. I trust her that they're all in there, so we're going to go find a post office because I have a shitload of stuff to post. Absolute shitload of stuff to post that I sold last night. Then uh, we'll get home and we'll have a look at these and we'll see if uh, all the ones that were on the photo are actually uh, in the boxes as well. Alright, see you when we get home. All right, we're back. I've um, cleaned all these uh, videos, 67 videos. Unfortunately, there was one video, uh, this one here, uh, Wham Bam Body Slam. Unfortunately, this one had SummerSlam 94 in it. But that's all right. One out of the 67, uh, no good. Cleaned all the others up, so I'm gonna go through these one by one. Uh, I'm not gonna take ages with them for you, but I'll show you what I got, and um, I'll also look up and I'll put what they're trending for, or what they've sold for, or what current listings uh, actually have them for, okay? Let's uh, do this quickly for you. All right, let's have a look what we've got here. We've got Rampage 92. This one's trending at $30. This one's an old classic. Anything with the Ultimate Warrior on the front cover sells good. Now, uh, this In Your House VHS with the first ever Shawn Michaels Undertaker match. Bit of a classic, I personally think so. But uh, that one's trending there at uh, 20 bucks. Now this one, uh, Thunder in the Ring, uh, UWF. I never personally watched too much of UWF when I was younger, so this one's only uh, trending at $10, uh, if that sells at all. But uh, WWF World Tour 1992 with 
Oh yeah, the Macho Man. So with Macho Man on the front cover, I got two copies of that. So uh, with the way that that's been selling uh, for all different prices, it narrowed it down to $20 each. Uh, Backlash, this one is actually a bit of a classic, I personally think. Trending at $20. Uh, has been sold for more than $20, but uh, when I round it around, it gets to $20. Uh, Australian price of course this one's only a $10 uh, VHS of rock um, I guess everyone had this on DVD when it came out on DVD but uh, I smell what the rocks cooking still uh, Monday Night Raw uh, prime cuts this was a classic I think this one's got the uh, battle royal on it uh, but it definitely has the Razor Ramon uh, the model Rick Martel Intercontinental Championship match loved this video when I was a kid uh, this one will sell. This one will sell uh, pretty fast, I personally think. Uh, King of the Ring, the best King of the Ring that was ever, uh, ever, ever uh, happened on pay-per-view. It only trends at ten dollars, uh, but it has sold a lot. So, um, yeah, this is definitely worth uh, grabbing a copy if uh, you want King of the Ring, because a fair few people sell it and it sells a lot. Now, Vengeance. This is the uh, tournament for the undisputed title. Uh, I figured out, uh, estimated it was $15 this one can go for. Um, and remember, I'm undercutting everyone else that's selling uh, online on eBay. Always undercut your opponent. Uh, WrestleMania 19, good old Vince versus Hogan. I thought this match was great. Uh, but, of course, the blockbuster of the uh, pay-per-view was Brock Lesnar and Kurt Angle. Uh, this one doesn't go for much. And look, I got two copies of it as well. I got two copies and, hey... They'll both sell. Judgment Day, I think this was 2001. Anyway, this is only trending at $15, this one. But, uh, yeah, this is a pretty good uh, Undertaker Stone Cold match. And you've got Triple H and uh, Kane on the card as well. It's all right. If you want to hear the original uh, music and all that before they edited it before uh, WWE Network, this one you want to grab the uh, videos. That's what a lot of people buy the videos for. Um, we've got the Hardy Boys, Leap of Faith. That doesn't really go for much. It, it probably won't even sell. Um, John Cena, this one doesn't go for much either, $10. Um, in Your House Greatest Matches, this does uh, go for about $20. The In Your House is, um, are pretty popular on VHS. Uh, this isn't the uh, big box uh, cover though, it's a small box. Uh, TLC, uh, Table Letters and Chairs, this uh, video really sucks actually. I've still got one for sale, has not been moving and everyone else is on the internet, it's not moving. I've now moved them down to $8 each. Now I have three copies. I've got two here and uh, another one still on the shelf that has not sold where all my other WWF, WWE stuff has really sold. WWF Raw Hits. This one will go pretty fast, I think. Uh, trending at 20 bucks. Like I said, anything uh, like Monday Night Raw and the old WWF style pay-per-views. Uh, this one surprised me. Um, I thought it would be a $10 mo uh, video, but... Uh, uh, trending at 30 bucks that Survivor Series, which is the first Elimination Chamber. I've got two copies of this uh, No Mercy, the UK pay-per-view. I, I hated this pay-per-view. I absolutely hated this pay-per-view. Um, don't ask me why. I think I was a bit jealous that the uh, UK were getting all these different insurrections and No Mercies and pay-per-views, and Australia got nothing. Now, this one surprised me that it's only... Uh, trending at ten dollars because other people have got it cheap as well but with Jericho going to AEW uh, a lot of uh, Jericho merch I see online has been selling so um, look this will sell pretty fast I think as well uh, when people want to put uh, and I undercut everyone else as well of course uh, good pay-per-view this one no mercy yeah this is the Hell in a Cell match with Brock Lesnar and uh, Undertaker it's only trending at ten bucks but um, it will sell and it was a good pay-per-view very good pay-per-view if you've got the network. Have a watch of that one. That's a, that, that's a fucking good Hell in a Cell match. Uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin, hell yeah. Uh, look, only $10 uh, video. Fair few of them out there. And when I say fair few, fair few. Uh, we've got a copy of Andre the Giant. It's only trending at $10. Bucks. Covers a little bit uh, damage there as well, unfortunately. But Shawn Michaels, this was only trending at $10. I'm so surprised that uh, so many people have copies of this for sale on there. I thought it was a little bit rarer. But, um, all good. Action Zone. WWF Action Zone. Uh, look, $15. Someone will buy it. And, hey, look, it says it's action-packed. So you've got to believe them. It's action-packed. Okay. 
Darth Vader on the back. Oh, now here we go. This one is a stack of cash. Trending at $50. I don't know why anyone would want to buy it. The Superstar Music Tape. The Superstar Entrance Music Tape. I don't know why anyone would want to buy it, but we got a stack of cash on that one. 50 bucks. Uh, trending at $20. Most unbelievable matches. We're going to see... You're going to see a lot of ones that are on pay-per-view there. Best of WrestleMania. Uh, only from 1 to 15. Uh, not going for much. Not going for much. Fair few people have that already on there. Very surprised about this one. Um, only going at ten dollars uh, the hardcore title I am personally gonna have a watch this because there might be some hidden gems on there that they haven't put on the network Mick Foley hard knocks cheap pops uh, he says it all it's only going for ten dollars it's not a very popular um, video that one but uh, it still will sell everything will sell that I have put up on here showing you that I've brought today WWF's hottest matches this is from 1990 had a copy of this when I was a kid very good video you got old Jake the snake and all that on there fantastic I love all these ones 20 bucks I'll get for that every day of the week 20 bucks the best of raw volume one uh, only trends at 10 bucks there's a lot of copies on there unfortunately But Volume 2, you're going to get about 20 bucks for. It's more popular. Unforgiven, uh, I think this was 2001. Um, this one trends only for 10 bucks. I thought it would be way more. Classic match with uh, Kurt Angle and Stone Cold Steve Austin. Uh, it will sell. Uh, but a fair few people actually have this online. Uh, and it is what it is. Now, uh, Unforgiven, then, whoops. Uh, Unforgiven, this one actually trends for $15. I've got two copies of it. I'm going to sell one of them for $10. So you see that one won't stand up due to the fact that um, that one has a broken bottom of the case, as you see there. A uh, broken bottom of the case, but that's all right. It'll still sell, and you can always replace a cover. That was the very first Inferno match with The uh, Undertaker and Kane. Here we go, stack of cash in my hand. Someone buy it now. This one is trending at $50. I know someone else has got it for sale for about $65. Uh, Mega Matches 95. A pretty shit video as well, if I remember correctly. Uh, World Tour 1991, Ultimate Warrior and Undertaker. Anything with Warrior on the front sells. That's uh, money in my pocket all day long. Invasion. Uh, a very disappointing pay per view in 2001. Only trending at $10, and I've had a copy of this and sold it before at $10. Bashed in the USA. Uh, this is actually a pretty uh, good video, this one. You'll get 20 bucks for that every day of the week. And, um, you know, they go. They go. They sell. $50. We've got a stack of cash on this one. In your house, too. In your house, uh, better enemies than friends, something like that. Uh, inside the WWF, this one's trending at $20. Uh, I think that's a 1993 video, uh, as this one is as well. Bloopers, bleeps, and body slams. Uh, always hated the cover of that one. 15 bucks. That was like, that was selling a heartbeat. Uh, good old Bam Bam Bigelow and uh, Doinks feud. Oh yeah, we get another macho man. Uh, this one uh, trends at 20 dollars. I just make myself choke then because uh, yeah, every time I do that macho man voice, it absolutely kills me. Uh, the Survivor Series, this one's trending at 15 bucks. This was actually a pretty good Survivor Series. Uh, I did like uh, Kurt Angle and Undertaker on the card. And a few classic uh, Survivor Series matches on there as well. The, unfortunately, all the Survivor Series lately, they don't have as many Survivor Series uh, matches uh, as they used to, like in the 90s. Uh, in the WWF in review 1993, uh, they sell pretty good. Here's a stack of cash, if I've seen one at all. This is trending at $80. Well, someone else has got it at $90, so I've put mine at $80. Please, God, sell. Stack of cash right there. Mine has a different cover to a lot of the other ones, but um, a very popular and rare one. I hated this pay-per-view. Uh, you can have it for $10. Bucks. You can have it for $10. Bucks. Go on my account and grab it. I didn't like that one. Uh, one night only. Wasn't a fan. England getting all the pay-per-views. Australia, we got nothing. We've got global warning, 
and uh, super showdown, but then, hey, so does Saudi Arabia. Hey, don't uh, forget to subscribe if you like for everything that I do as well. Uh, I'm going to get more videos um, and more WWE content. Now, this one was trending at $15. This came free when I got uh, Raw Attitude on PlayStation uh, 2. And it says on the back there uh, not to be sold separately and all that, but I'm selling it separately, so fuck you. Um, and hey, that's the way it is. Global Warfare, we've got Crush and Doink on the front. Uh, this one's trending at $20 all day long. Uh, good old rivalry uh, Doink and Crush had. WrestleMania 10, or if you like to call it WrestleMania X, uh, in Roman numerals, but this one's trending at $20. Beyond the mat really surprised me. Really surprised me. Only trending at $10. So many people have it online for sale. So many copies. I suppose it's one video that everyone brought. Here's another one of those fucking UK pay per views uh, trending at $15. Uh, Insurrection. Not a fan of the uh, English pay per views because I was jealous. Um, <laughs> Survivor Series trending at $8. That's the best of Survivor Series. I've actually got another copy of that on my shelf for $8 that has not sold yet. Uh, Unforgiven, ah, that was the Fatal 4-Way with Kane, uh, Chris Benoit and The Rock, I think. I'm not sure, I can't remember. Good pay-per-view though. Well, good main event. Don't know about the rest of the pay-per-view, but it was a good main event. Uh, St. Valentine's Day Massacre, this is when we saw the big show uh, debut. This is only trending at $13. Well, it's actually around $15, but I'm undercutting the fuck out of someone. So, uh, <laughs> 13 for me. Uh, there's a $20 one for us. This is when uh, Edge wins the King of the Ring. This is 2001, I'm pretty sure. 2000. I got a good deal. And I really wish I gave her, uh, this lady, some more money. It's another English one, trending at $10, Capital Carnage. I really wish I gave this uh, lady some more money because uh, she had WCW videos and she had so many more that um, you're not, of course, not seeing because these are the ones that I picked up. Uh, WrestleFest 92, um, yeah, and look, when you see the total at the end now that I've actually uh, calculated it up and seen what some of these are actually going for, estimated price, and of course you take a good 25% off the total of the estimated price at the end um, of your reality when you mark stuff down when they don't sell. Uh, King of the Ring 95, this was underrated, even though I hated who won, absolutely unrated. This was Awesome, I liked it. A lot of people hate it. 20 bucks there all day long. Same with SummerSlam. This was a great pay-per-view. I thought this was a really good SummerSlam. Uh, like I said, King Mabel was absolute dog shit. Absolute dog shit. Uh, but, hey, it is what it is. 95, they were rebuilding, and the rebuild uh, I thought was good in the end what we got. Uh, Survivor Series 96, this... Uh, Trends at $30, and yes, I do have the Australian flag flying up there because I'm telling you everything in Australian prices. I'm putting a stack of cash there as well, by the way, because I think $30 for that is pretty damn good, because that's when The Rock made his debut. Now, there was a lot of other ones there for $30. Bucks. Now, this one uh, really surprised me because it was in the box. Um, it was meant to be all videos, and I got XPW Wrestling Television, the complete first season. Um, now, I'd never actually seen XPW, but uh, looking at it and uh, had a little preview of it on um, uh, YouTube, and it is a uh, basically a copy of ECW. Basically, that's the way to uh, really explain it. It's just an ECW ripoff, and you know, but people are going to buy it. Uh, season two goes for way more. But anyway. All right, that's it for me. Uh, WWF, WWE, whatever you uh, want to still call it. Whoa, hold on. Wow, I just had a whole pile of videos fall on me. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I enjoyed getting all these. Um, I'm going to enjoy listing them and I'm going to enjoy selling them and making uh, money. Uh, my estimated profit, I'm not sure, but in my head I'm thinking I spent 80 bucks on this. I'm thinking I can make about 400. Estimated profit, I'll put down the bottom of the screen now. Um, but, because uh, I'll work that out while I'm um, editing it, this now, so that'll be on the bottom of the screen. But anyway, cheers for watching. Uh, 
like, subscribe, do what the fuck you want. But uh, I want to keep my videos cranking. Um, start subscribing and start liking because um, I want to make more videos. I want to buy more videos and I want to help these guys out with the thrifting and all that. So I'm doing what I can. But I enjoy making the videos and getting uh, VHS tapes. But this wrestling one takes me back. Takes me back. Um, I will do a video soon about um, what stuff is worth money on uh, eBay and what isn't. And I'll do some research for you guys. But uh, like, subscribe, share it. Um, watch some of the other videos if you haven't seen them. There's some real good ones on there, especially ones where I give you tips of uh, selling. And um, yeah, until the next video, see you.